Benefit number eight. This is the bodily health which results from eating little. For many diseases are caused by overeating and by the presence of a residue of humours in the stomach and the arteries. Illness prevents one from worshipping, it distracts the heart and stands in the way of remembrance and reflection. It spoils one's life and obliges one to submit to bloodletting blood and cupping and to drinking medicines and seeing physicians, all of which requires money, which in turn can only be obtained through things which require that one exhaust oneself in avoiding various kinds of sins and desires. Hunger makes all of this unnecessary. In a hadith it is said, Sumu tasihu, fast and you will be healthy. This is a hadith narrated in many sources including Imam, Imam al-Tabarani's al-Mu'jim al-Awsat. Fasting hunger and eating less conduce therefore to the health of the body so that it becomes free of disorders and of the heart which becomes free of the diseases of rebellion and exaltation as well as a number of other complaints. And fasting, of course, and reducing one's intake of food on a regular basis are methods well known to the uh, natural health industry. One of the most frequent prescriptions of uh, traditional naturopaths is uh, that one should simply eat less. <coughs> 